Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and we're showing another smart spine protocol called Zero Balance to help to organize this whole sequence, and you'll see videos after this, the whole sequence is to help to organize the head, the neck, and the shoulder girdle because of course we compensate so much in these areas and that can really keep the spine from its full potential. So these are some really, really nice ones to um, do with your clients throughout their sessions. And this one specifically is um, looking at the rotation of the cervical spine and keeping it in line with the spine as the client rotates. So really correcting things like forward head shear, um, starting to activate those muscles on the front of the neck and creating more length and width in the upper back, back of the neck and through the, the back of the head. So we have the heated smart spine and April has the cell of the smart spine that's closest to her right at her occipital base. And then she also has a warm globe that um, she's pressing on her sternum just to help the chest and the ribs be heavy. And then I'm very close to her, so you wanna be very close to your client so that your client doesn't feel the tension in your hands and you don't feel the tension in your hands and um, that you can really have the weight of your client in your upper back. So first what I'm gonna do with my palms kind of facing back towards me is April and I are gonna take a few deep inhales and exhales. And as we do that, I'm taking her weight more and more into my upper back so that the material of the smart spine lightens on the carriage underneath. But in turn, she's really focused on giving the weight of her head to the smart spine and not helping me. And then from here, we're gonna turn the head to the left side. And she's just thinking about her head as that heavy bowling ball. And we're really trying to keep the head in line. Beautiful. And then we're gonna come back to center. And again, she's really focused on just letting her head fall heavy, heavy into the smart spine as we come back to center. Good, and then we go to the right. Heavy, heavy, like she's pouring all the contents of her right ear into the smart spine. Great. And then heavy, heavy as she comes back to her center. Good. And then we'll go in the other direction again. So you as the teacher, this takes a lot of practice because you really have to coordinate the just right pressure through the two hands, arms, upper back. And then coming back to center, heavy, heavy. And what you'll also start to pick up when you practice with people is that you'll hit a barrier of resistance in rotation, especially if they're being passive. Yep, and you wanna stop there. Don't bring them any further. And it'll be different on one side than it is on the other. So April has a little bit more resistance when we go to turn her head to the right side. And then we'll bring the smart spine down and very nice. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.